This is the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit with all the tools in it. Today I'm going to be going over a run through of basically all of the tools you will be getting here. Just as a reference because the website, you know, there's so many tools in here. The website doesn't really list all of them, but you just kind of... Um, what's on there. So basically it gives you a little diagram of what all the tools here. So this is your Y triple zero screw, which Apple likes to use other Y zero screw and you have zero screw. And these are interesting because they're like Phillips heads, but they're a tri point Phillips head. And this is what keeps in like your touch ID sensor and all those other things for the iPhone. We have a long extender here, which fits here. And then we have our nice premium metal one, which fits here. And this is all padded foam. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I've never had a kit like this before. Before I was just using like this old screwdriver set that had all of these points. And it was also like had a pen attachment too, so you could write with it. But this is a, a proper hobbyist toolkit because when it comes to opening older devices, I don't always have the right screw. I strip the screw to go a size higher, but I can't really go a size lower. And sometimes you even have to do it the super dirty, janky way where you use a, a very tiny Phillips head to twist the screw a quarter and then keep on twisting it a quarter until it comes out. I wanted something a little bit more professional and I was going to use this to fix my iPad and my iPhone because I somehow, just in 2020, I dropped my iPad down the stairs, completely destroyed the digitizer. Okay, that was $50 to fix. Not bad. It's fix it's working upstairs right now my phone i dropped down the stairs i was really tired one morning it slipped and the digitizer broke but the glass didn't and that's a problem because either i broke the connection or i broke the cable well it turns out i did both because the new display was working for like 15 minutes and then it didn't want to work anymore so the phone is done and i have to figure out a way to return the old display to i fix it that i used to test the phone but i didn't break it so it's still usable and all the other stuff right there. So this screw right here, these points are for when you have gaskets like these and you need to go on them to take them off because there are some computers with these out facing gaskets and these are for your hex screws. And they also have this self tapper in here, which is really great because sometimes what the computer people like to do is like to put stuff in there so that they only can do it proprietary, but iFixit provides that for you. And then you also have penta point, box point, and then also, also array of sizes here. And these are usually for MacBooks and stuff when they went to that standard. You have a bunch of flat heads, which is great. And they provide bigger sizes too. So you can use this to do bigger projects if you want, or the tiny ones. When you're fixing computers and old Macs all day long, it's nice to have everything. And this is gonna be such a, it's a great investment because you can use this for, oh, it's a magnet. I had no idea. That's, that's really useful. Thank you. But this is something you can use for the rest of your life if they decide to make new screws, which they don't, but that isn't the killer feature, mate. This is the killer. This, this little grabber. Oh, it's so nice. And then, um, getting into the Mac computers to do different, like, hard drive swaps and cool things. It's just a good investment. Um, you get a bunch of these picks. I use guitar picks, but these are a lot thinner, which is nice because you want the thin lads when you're getting into stuff like iPods and different things like that. And the reason why I got this is because this was only like $60 and for all the tools you're getting here, it's, it's a mega deal. You get a Razor blade, a scoop dupe, a plastic dupe, and all these. And then you get six high quality freshies to use when you're unplugging cables and stuff. Plunger for picking up your Displa, which is right here. It's actually quite a nice premium one. It's built in so that the suction is stronger which it didn't really need to be because regular suction cups can do it too. That's really great. I fix it. It helps like with heating. And then this, I don't know what this is for. Um, I'm assuming it's like a wrist strap with like, I don't, I don't really know, but it comes in this really nice box. The fact that this is magnet, like it's such an extra detail that I just really like. And this is their bread and butter. So 
I'm going to slow down the video so you can get a look at all the screws here so that you know what screw to choose or if this kit's right for you. Dad's telling me all the time is the one thing you spend the most amount of your money on is your tools because they last forever and your relationships because they last forever. You got to spend money on both, mate. You can't have one without the other. No good tools to fix your friend's stuff. No good relationships.